Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. So you want to hire an attorney to help you with your immigration problems. Uh, and there is a world of different kinds of immigration problems, whether it be affirmative immigration problems where, you know, you have no legal problems, but you want to, for example, come to the U.S. on a plethora of different kinds of visas or whether you want to invest in businesses in the U.S., whether you want to get the green card, citizenship, uh, or there's the other kind where you're in some kind of legal trouble and you need an immigration attorney to represent you in removal proceedings uh, and different kinds of uh, appeals or other matters uh, you know, BIA appeals, motions to reconsider, of course, adjustment of status, you know, that goes wide and, and, and a variety. So I want to give some tips on how to make sure that you're hiring the proper attorney. So first, you need to do some investigation, okay? Don't, don't let some nice advertisement uh, sway you as to why you're picking that particular attorney because you like the advertisement or you like the pictures in the advertisement or it looks legitimate or, you know, the the guys, you know, the guy or the woman attorney is wearing nice clothes. You want to first confirm that, in fact, the person you're going to hire is an attorney. So every single attorney in the U.S. has to be licensed and there is a state bar with every single state. Now, there's not a there's not a way of getting a federal bar. There's there are different issues there, but but more or less, whatever state you're in, you can contact the state bar. You can most of the time do it online. I can't imagine there's anywhere these days that that it can't be. Type in the attorney's name, and you see. Okay, you can do some research. You can see if the attorney's licensed, when the attorney was licensed. You can see if there's been any disciplinary action against the attorney. So all that. So that's the first step. The next step is, as you know, there, like especially in California, there's a lot of attorneys. So you don't want to hire just any attorney. Okay, you want to hire an immigration attorney. Uh, for example, if somebody comes to me and they start asking me, you know, real estate questions or estate questions, I, I, I have, you know, the knowledge that I have uh, to to legally uh, make a basic determination of what would need to be done. But I'm certainly not going to uh, do complex business transactions. I'm not going to do complex estate planning, you know, any of that stuff. Um, you know, I, myself, I specialize in immigration law and my firm. That's all we do. OK, it doesn't mean there's not crossovers. There certainly is crossovers with criminal law, with family law, uh, with civil law, you know, all that. But but it's still all related to immigration. So you want to make sure you go to an attorney that does just immigration law. So once you've verified that, you know, in fact, it's an attorney, make sure that the attorney does just immigration law. You know, if you get someone who does civil law and, you know, personal injury and, you know, all the other different kinds of laws and does some immigration here and some immigration there, you're just getting someone who knows the basics. And that's not going to help you. There, there's a, a whole plethora of things that could go wrong if whatever's done right. I mean, even, even a simple I-130 petition, even a simple family petition, there's issues that, you know, someone who doesn't practice immigration law all the time uh, won't see. And by putting in the incorrect petition and not properly vetting what needs to be done, uh, you might end up, number one, getting it denied, getting put in removal proceedings, you know, just all kinds of bad stuff could happen. So that's the second thing. Make sure that the person practices only immigration law. Third, Make sure they've done it for some time. I mean, they might only practice immigration law, but they might have only been doing it for six months. So make sure they have a history of working in immigration law for quite some time. And then to, to really do your homework, every state or many states 
have uh, in their bars certain ways that one can become a certified specialist in immigration and nationality law. Now, this is not just, uh, you know, you know, purchasing some certificate, paying 50 bucks, and then you get it. I mean, it's, it's a whole thing, okay? Uh, like, for example, in California, to become a certified specialist, you, you, of course, have to have at least five years experience. Um, and then there's a whole list of things that you have to do, you know, X number of cases in removal, X number of appeals, X number of adjustments, all this other stuff. And then there's a day-long uh, exam, that you take. And then there's peer references that have to be done. Um, I, I mean, th that's just some of the stuff. Um, and then you become certified if you pass everything. And it's not forever. Okay, it's only for five years. So after the end of that five years, you, you essentially have to get recertified. Now to get recertified, you don't have to take the test again. But you have to uh, you know, have a lot of continuing education and there's a lot of other requirements you still need to meet. Now, uh, for myself, I believe I first became certified in 2000. Uh, and so it's like 2024 now. And so I have become certified in 2000. I've had to become recertified almost five times. Okay, because if you don't do the recertification, you lose the certification. So the bottom line here, as you can see, if you get a lawyer who does just immigration law, has been doing it for a lot of years, and is a certified specialist in immigration law, and that's by, you know, certified by the state bar, you will be in a much better position to have your case reviewed than just going to anybody. And honestly, it doesn't take long to properly review a case to make sure what's done right is done right. But then if there's bumps in the roads, you know, having someone like that will help you even more, okay? Direct what needs to be done and, you know, how to do it and all that. Okay, so hopefully this will help.